to qualify for the World Cup in Colombia in 2011, while the under-20s had to go into playoffs against the OFC Island Nations. Once we got through those finals, then that's when the team would be off to Colombia for the World Cup, and that's what ended up happening. I didn't get that chance, probably through my own undoing. Ended up having a car accident on the first day of 2011. I was the passenger seat in, in the car at the time. Sadly, my good friend passed away in that accident and I ended up breaking my neck in several places. I don't remember anything. I just woke up in the hospital and then the whole I, I can't feel my legs thing and that um, I probably wouldn't walk again and my, my, literally my first thought was football's gone. At one point I clicked and I just realised that my friend passed away in that car accident and I didn't and I can't be here complaining about anything really because I'm the one that's still here and I've got the chance to make something of it and carry on for him basically because he doesn't get that chance. So my job with New Zealand Football Foundation is to promote ourselves, the, the, the foundation, and promote their programs to help support football in New Zealand. I finally have a chance to be having a job involved with football and yeah, I felt that passion for football that I've had, had hadn't been a waste of time and I can, I can still contribute to football even though I'm not playing anymore and the passion is there just as much as ever really. I am going to say a 2-1 win to the home side purely for the purpose of entertainment value to see the season out. The one thing I'm most passionate about and I'm the team manager at Mount Albert Ponsonby Football Club. I do some admin work, you know, registering the team each week. Um, you know, I make sure someone's there to help me set up the, the team kit, you know, well before the before the team even arrives. So when they walk in, everything's ready. Being involved with them means probably everything at the moment, yeah. I couldn't let football go. And I don't think I ever will, really. It'll always be part of something.